Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Pi game with OpenGL and Python uh, tutorial. In this video, uh, what we're going to be talking about is actually uh, bringing our cube into view. So what this does here in the background is it kind of draws to OpenGL, basically or using OpenGL, it draws a cube in the background. But the reason why this is a 3D game engine is because we have not only the object that we draw, but we also have our perspective of that object. So where are we in in that um, in that view, so to speak? So we also have to define those things as well. And for that, and for viewing our cube and all of that, that is where we use uh, Pygame. That's what we're using Pygame for. And so to do that, we're going to go ahead and uh, define main, and that's just going to be our main function, and this is what's going to basically run the game, or not really the game, but show us our, um, our cube. So uh, to begin, as always with any Pygame, we must run Pygame.init, which initializes Pygame and gets us ready to do Pygame stuff. Um, so this starts off pretty simple. Um, and then we're going to go ahead, as usual, and we're going to display the Pygame uh, display. But first we're going to predefine that as 800 and uh, 600. So it'll be 800 pixels wide, 600 tall. And then we do the typical Pygame.display.set underscore mode. And then we'll pass through display. That's, us that's pretty typical. We've seen that a million times before. Um, but now we add in one more thing, and we're going to add in double buff, all caps, then a pipe, and then open GL. So this all started off really nice, simple, easy. Uh, we knew everything that was happening, and then bam, we threw this at you. <laughs> and then bar, what the hell? So, uh, or pipe rather. Uh, so first of all, what is double buff? Double buff is not um, a Pokemon name that is actually for double buffer. Um, and the idea of double buffer is that you have like the buffer that you're seeing, so like the image you're seeing, and then in the background there's another image just in case. And this is to handle like monitor refresh rates. Um, it's just a better way of, of doing things, basically. And then we have the pipe, and then just OpenGL. And these are just parameters that we're passing through um, this set mode for Pygame. So this is this is how Pygame works with OpenGL or PyOpenGL. Basically, it just leaves the optionality for throwing some OpenGL stuff at it um, because you have to <clears throat> you have to tell Pygame's display like, hey, we're about to throw some G OpenGL at you. It's no different than really um, with Matplotlib, for example. If you want to do a 3D graph, you have to notify it in advance like, oh, by the way, this is going to be 3D because um, there's a lot of different things that have to happen for that. So uh, the next thing that we do, once we do that, uh, we set up our, um, basically like our perspective, and that's exactly what it's called. So it is GLU perspective. And GLU perspective takes a few parameters, uh, but generally um, I, I think the best way to kind of visualize this is to literally visualize it, uh, to understand how this stuff works. But Basically, uh, first you have field of view. So how many degrees is your field of view? Um, so we're just going to say we have 45.0 degrees field of view. Um, then you have your aspects. So this is like your aspect ratio. So in our case, it would be um, 800 divided by 600. And it's, just, it's just basically your display. So it's your width divided by your height. So for us, our aspect ratio uh, will always be display 0 divided by display 1. Then uh, then you have these like clipping distances. And these are like your closest clipping plane and your furthest clipping plane. So that's the distance from the, the original camera, basically, or the view, are these two planes. You It must be a positive. Um, but what a lot of people will do is like 0 0.1 or something like that. So it's like really, really close. But you can also just do one. And then uh, the furthest one will say 50.0, uh, and that's like the furthest away. Um, again, just like kind of the field of view and all of this, um, aspect ratio, we're not going to mess with that. But um, these, this number and then these numbers here, it really becomes more apparent what they do exactly once we're like 
we can view everything and we can see what we mean. So like if you're not familiar with OpenGL, which I assume many many might not be, uh, here you have no idea like, what the heck is a clipping plane. <laughs> so so we'll be we'll be talking about that, but it's exactly what it sounds. It, it's a plane and it clips stuff. Um, so anyway, that's that. So uh, so this is our like perspective of the cube basically. That sets that up, but then we've got some other things that we have to throw in here. Um, so that's what we'll be doing in the next video. So anyway, hopefully you guys are enjoying. Stay tuned in the next video, and thanks for watching.